guys, welcome back to Tight Bass Lines TV. Uh, today, we are not on the water, we are doing unboxing. I want to show you a couple packages that I get in. Uh, one is a giveaway, I don't even know what's in it yet. We're going to share together, and then I want to show you a couple companies that um, I use out on the water that help me as a better angler. So, um, so we'll do the uh, giveaway first and uh, see what we got in here. This one, um, I won the 12 Days of Ro his name is Zell Rowland. I won the 12 days of giveaway um, back in December for Christmas. And um, let me see what we got in here. All right, so we got a Carhartt hat, and he signed it right there in the corner. That's pretty cool. And he even made a little popper looking uh, lure, so that's pretty cool. I'll be using that. And then um, looks like we got a bunch of yum baits. So, oh, we got a couple Cotton Cordell rattle traps. So, we got a Gold Shiner, and we got a um, Super Spot. So, those I'll be using. I love rattle traps. And then we got a, a bunch of young baits. Let's we'll see what kind of baits we got. All right, so we got swimming dingers. We got a bunch of swimming dingers. We got them in green pumpkin. I got a young crawl bug. Those are watermelon seed. All right, we got some more yum crawl bugs, but this one's in a smoke red pepper. Then we got some more swimming dingers, and this one's in a June bug color. Let's see. Yeah, more June bug color swimming dingers. Then we got a thumping dinger, and that's in a white. That's pretty cool. Some more woolly, um, some more yum crawl bugs. Swimming dingers and green pumpkin. And we got some more swimming dingers. And this is in black and blue. And black laminate. So that's pretty cool. So we got a bunch more of those. More black and blue. Let's see what's in this pack right here. Okay, now we have some big show crawls and green pumpkin. Those look good for punching, sight fishing. Those are some good looking crawls. Let's see. Some more of those. Oh, this time I got them in white. So that'd be good for when I'm bed fishing. Let's see. This time I got them in. This one looks like a peanut butter jelly color. Another one of those crawls. And yep, so all the rest of them are all swimming dingers, crawls, and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. So big shout out to Zell Rowan when I won that. So that'll help me through this tournament season. And um, let's see what else we got. So put this back in the box. All right, so we're all done with that box. Put this down. All righty. So, next up is a new line company that I've been using for about a year now. Um, I discovered them on Facebook through a buddy, um, and I've been every tournament I have them rigged up on all my rods. Um, it's a K9 Fishing. They make fluorocarbon braid, crappie braid. Um, and um, what I have here is I got a couple spools. I got some 12 pound tests, some eight pound tests, 14 pound tests, and 12 pound tests. Then in the braid, I have 60 pound braid. It's good for Florida because I'll be going down there this week, so stay tuned for that video. And then I got some 10 pound yellow braid. I'll be using that on my spinning rods for drop shots, wacky worms, shaky heads, net rigs, all that finesse presentation so let's talk about them for a second um, oh and they also sent me a sticker I put that on the boat the truck wherever I want really um, so what I noticed about them when I discovered them is they're really affordable I mean this 300 yard spool is $14.99 and you get 300 yards with that now they do have a hundred uh, 550 yard spool and that one is 18 to 19 bucks that price range which is very affordable because you can spool up three four rods with that and uh, what also I noticed is how thin the diameter of their line is so right here we got like a little comparison of what what pound test and the diameter it is now um, if you research like let's use for instance P line if you research them and compare them this is way thinner than them and um, that's what I used to use until I switched to K9, which I'll never switch back. I love K9. And um, 
I will always use them. But that line is really thin and it's really strong. I've caught plenty of fish. I haven't broke off on a fish yet due to the line malfunctions. Um, it's pretty, pretty um, abrasion resistant, and which I like because uh, when we're fishing tournaments, we don't want to lose fish. And we don't want to retie because that's time consuming. So this is what I've been using, this fluorocarbon. And as far as the braid, this is a floating braid. Um, it's really low stretch and it's uh, very sensitive. I use it for flipping frogs, um, you know, like the finesse presentation I was telling you about, jigs. I, I use it, I always have at least one to two rods rigged up with braid on it every tournament. And um, it's super smooth. And, it's, and this is as thin as well. If you look it up, it's very thin. And um, the memory on all of this line is great. I mean, I've had, there's one rod out there that's been on there since I started with K9 and it's still on there. I pulled off about five foot the other day and I checked the memory and it it's excellent. So that's that's amazing how good that of a company they are. So if you haven't checked them out, I will link them in the description below and you can go over there and check them out, see what you like. And uh, if you have any more questions, you can ask me my Facebook. Um, I'll link that in the description as well if you have any questions. And then um, now we're going to talk about this. Um, I found this little tungsten weight company on Facebook because I needed some for Florida because I'm going down there this week and I want to do some heavy punches so um, let's see what we got here let's see okay so we got Mont Motley Fishing Terry Ellis he makes um you know the weights tungsten weights and that's his business card I'll also link him in the description below and um, what we got is I got some three quarter rounds, I got some ounce, and I got some ounce and a half for flipping down in Florida because you know how heavy. Okay, so I got four three quarter ounces right here. I got an ounce right here, two of them. I got an ounce and a half right here. And I paid really good prices for them. If you head over there and check them out, he can get you hooked up. They're insert free. I haven't used them yet. I will be using them this week in Florida. But um, yeah, you definitely gotta check them out. Um, all right, so on to another company that I've been working with is Yankum Custom Tackle, which yeah, that hat, which you can purchase all this stuff online at their store. And yeah, let's see what I got in here. All right, so I got some swim bait heads. I got them. I got. A dozen and a half ounce and a dozen and three quarter ounce. No, three eighth ounce, sorry. Okay. So this is this is the new swim bait hook that they've come out with. And it's got two bait keepers. That keeps your bait, your swim bait, from falling off of the the head. Which when you're in a tournament you don't want to have to keep fixing that plastic. You don't want to use super glue. And it's a light wire hook, so it's gonna penetrate every time in that fish. And um and it's got realistic eyes on it I mean that thing looks amazing and that hook point is sharp and I'm gonna be using that down in Florida as well I also have a BFL tournament on Gunnersville where I'll be putting this thing to work and um, yeah I can't wait to use these um, there's another look at it so I'm make two bait keepers you know um, this half ounce is recommended for you know four to five inch swim baits you know everyone has their own preference of what they use certain lures on but that's for that one it's very unique design um, I like it a lot I can't wait to use them but what they're really known for you know they're a custom tackle dealer but they're really known for their jigs and their rods and I use their jigs I've been using their jigs for about a year and a half now and I've caught plenty of big fish on them and um, let's let me get a couple for you to look at real quick there's a football jig. Let's see, there's a, let's see, football jig. Here's a flipping jig. Yeah, here's a couple flipping jigs. Okay. And then, yeah, some football jigs we got. Okay. So, like for instance, there, here is a, a uh, flipping jig, half ounce flipping jig. That's what I like to use a lot. And that's it right there. Now, this, the skirt. This is live rubber on here. It's all hand tied, US made, and um, he can work with you on what colors you need. Yeah, Wally Kilpatrick, I'll link him in the description as well. But I've been using them a lot. They have a good bait keeper on here. Let's see if I can. Well, I can't really show you. Um, it's hard for me to show you. But yeah, they're, 
there's a bait keeper on there and it's I mean I've caught I caught a couple of fish over five I flipped it on the trees and caught fish and and they really they're really a great great jig that I've come up with before I met this company I never fished a jig I started using theirs and it made a difference I take them to every tournament I'm fishing wherever I go I never leave without a jig and Yankum Tackle is the one I prefer and I mean just look at that that's a that's a PB and J color that's the black and blue and then their football heads look at that that thing's so pretty like you can there's a lot of jig companies but this one stands out the most I mean when it's in the water the skirt expands so it gives you a bigger profile which is made for bigger fish which is what you want in tournaments and so basically let me see if I can get this thing to stand up so yeah look out look how that thing stands that that is beautiful beautiful that's a ha that's a um, half ounce this is a three-quarter I mean look at this jig box I mean I have a crap load of jig that's a finesse jig and that one's really good when the fish are kind of finicky and they don't want the big bulk you throw this one you'll catch them every time so I I mean I have a crap load of their jigs and that's the only jig company I use before them I would have never used the jig but um, they really have made a difference in my um, equipment and catching fish and helping me out and um, there you know a jig is a year-round bait you can use it winter spring summer fall all that and um, this is the company that you should be throwing the next time you're out there I right, look at this color scheme this is one of my favorites it's a um, green pumpkin blue yeah green pumpkin blue is what I use I use a little rage tail most of the time on them and this thing is phenomenal I mean the way it stands up you just you just can't beat the way it stands and then when that shirt that skirt expands I mean these are killer and especially on clear water lakes I use them a lot there and they are killer I've had a lot of people contact me asking me about them I've had a lot of people that have tried them and loved them and they're just amazing I mean his rods they're all custom made he makes them to your liking so whenever you need a rod and what length you need them he will make them then he doesn't just stock them up and then you know you get one of them he'll make them handmade so you should definitely check them out I will link them in the description and um, you know head over there and tell them that I sent you and he'll get you all hooked up but yeah so we got the canine jigs we got the the Yankum jig sorry we have the Yankum swim baits we got that canine braid and fluorocarbon and then we got the the motley weights and then I showed you the unboxing for the um, yum baits and the cotton cordell swim baits that I got on the giveaway and um yeah so I'll link all these descriptions all this stuff in the description uh, you can check them out um, you can message me on Facebook if you like if you want more information about them um, yeah so Nick in a couple days I'll be going to Florida and I'll have a bunch more videos dropping and we're gonna start this new series on type bass lines TV it is tackle tip Thursday so starting not this week next week we are gonna start tackle tip Thursday where I show you maybe a new bait or how I rig a bait or what I would use it in certain temperature water temp seasons all that so we'll start that new series and um you know you guys let me know what you would like to see on the channel and we'll see about getting them but um yes yeah, so stay tuned for next week in florida and i got a challenge video down there a punch in i'm gonna be doing all types of stuff so make sure you stay tuned and um we'll see you next time out on water make sure you hit that like comment and subscribe to the channel and um yeah i appreciate the support we'll talk to you later